good morning grade 11 so today we are on lesson 4 from the notes on number patterns and analytical geometry now today we're just going to learn how to find the equation of a straight line okay now what you must always remember is that every straight line is in the form y equal to mx plus c so remember c is the y intercept m is your gradient so whenever you have an equation like this you know m is your gradient c is your y intercept okay like in this example here if we are asked to find the equation of the line with gradient of negative 2 and y intercept of 17 then from y equal to mx plus c it's just quickly to see that y is equal to the gradient which is m is negative 2x the intercept is positive 17 so plus 17 that's the equation of that line okay so that is every straight line works like that m is the gradient c is the y intercept okay so the second example is when you're given the gradient and one point on the line okay so there is this formula y minus y1 equal to mx minus x1 that you can use to find the equation of a straight line so in this case we're supposed to determine the equation of the line with gradient 7 and goes through the point negative 2 and 7 all right so this is the uh, the formula that we're supposed to use x minus x1 so m is your gradient y1 is the y coordinate of this point x1 is the x coordinate of that point okay so now let's substitute that so y minus the y coordinate is 7 the gradient there is 7 so we just substitute that x minus the x1 is negative 2 so you must just substitute the negative 2 okay so Let's now simplify this expression. Y minus 7 is equal to 7 by X. Remember that ends up adding. Okay, so let's remove the brackets. Y minus 7 is equal to 7X plus 14. Now this 7 obviously has to move over. So Y is equal to 7X plus 14 plus 7 okay which means our final answer is what 7x plus 14 plus 7 which is 21 okay there is another method however that you can use right so let me just put a big o here to say that we can use this method here all right so what you can do is you can just say okay we know that every straight line has the equation y equal to mx plus c right so this line is gonna be equal to one y equal to 7x plus c y7 because your gradient is 7 so you just put it over there now you're going to sub this point negative 2 and 7 into this equation because now we need to solve for c the y intercept so where there's y you're gonna put seven is equal to seven times where this x you're gonna put negative two plus c okay so seven is gonna be equal to seven times negative two which is negative 14 plus c so i'm just gonna take the 14 over which means this becomes 7 plus 14 is equal to C. So what that means is that C is equal to 7 plus 14, which is 21. Okay, so now we're just going to substitute this thing back into that equation there. And your equation is Y equal to 7X plus C, which is 21. And then that's your answer, which is similar to what we got before. Uh, it's a line that is going through two points K uh, this and L of that we know nothing about the y-intercept okay so 
there's two ways to to this problem uh, okay so the first method is you use this formula y minus y1 is equal to m by x minus x1 okay so m is your gradient y1 is the y coordinate and x1 is the x coordinate okay so to find the gradient okay remember the formula for the gradient y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 okay so in this case we've got two points here so y2 i'll take it to be that negative 3 minus y1 i'll take it to be that negative 2 over x2 i'll take it to be that negative 4 minus x1 i take it to be that 3 okay so we can just quickly do this on the calculator okay so negative 3 minus negative 2 over negative 4 minus 3 so that means the gradient here is 1 over 7 okay uh, in this case it's better off you just leave your gradient as a fraction all right so now we're going to use our formula here now we've got two coordinates here so which coordinate do we use any coordinate right so we can take this coordinate k here the y there is negative 2 the x there is 3 right this one coordinate over here so we are now going to say y minus the y coordinate is negative 2 so I plug in negative 2 is equal to the gradient is 1 over 7 x minus the x coordinate there is 3 and now this is just an equation that we have to simplify okay so let's simplify that so this is y plus 4 is equal to 1 over 7 x minus 1 over 7 times 3 that will be 3 over 7 so just take the 4 over so y is equal to 1 over 7 x okay so negative 3 over 7 you're allowed to use a calculator so if you if forgotten fraction addition just use a calculator negative 3 over 7 minus 4 because the 4 is coming over and here's the answer minus 31 over 7 there is another way to do it though without remembering this formula okay so you just remember that y is equal to mx So you just remember y is equal to mx plus c right so we calculated our gradient before so you're just going to calculate your gradients in the with the same method so y is going to be equal to 1 over 7 x plus c so that means it's c that we need to find so we can pick any of these two coordinates to find that c okay i decided to pick coordinate l for no reason really i just decided to so wh what that means is where there's y we're gonna put negative 3 and where there's x we're gonna put negative 4 okay so it's c that we have to solve for right so let's solve this so negative 3 is equal to negative 4 over 7 plus c right so obviously take this 4 over 7 over so negative 3 plus 4 over 7 is equal to C right we can just use the so negative 3 plus 4 over 7 which is equal to so that means c is equal to negative 17 over 7 so our equation therefore is y is equal to 1 over 7 x minus 17 over 7 and that's the answer